the Indonesian Navy has delayed the planned retirement of its ex-Royal Netherlands Navy frigates move to ensure that the service can fulfill operational requirements and deployment obligations, especially in the South China Sea. The Indonesian Navy Tentara Nasional Indonesia, Angkatan Laut has decided to postpone the retirement of its Ahmad Yana class frigates amid operational requirements that necessitate continued service of the platforms for about one more year, the service has confirmed with Jane's. Citing a TNIAL source from the service's Western Fleet KOARMABAR, Jane's reported in February 2016 that the country will start to retire the first of its six Ahmad Yana class frigates in 2017. This decision was made at the 2016 iteration of an annual Naval Technical and Logistics Work Plan meeting, and the intention then was to retire the class at a rate of one ship a year from 2017 to 2022. However, given current progress of the Marta di Nata Sigma 10514 class induction and ongoing service obligations, this schedule has since been delayed by about one more year to ensure that there are no operational gaps in the fleet's deployment capacity especially in the Natuna Sea where there is now an increasing number of unregulated fishing cases, said the TNIAL. Indonesia commissioned its first Martadina Tech class frigate, KRI Radinetti Marta di Nata 331, in April 2017. The second of class, which will be known as KRI Agustina Gurirai with pennant number 332 once it is in service, was launched by state-owned shipbuilder PT Pull in September 2016. The country is expected to acquire following ships in this class, but a formal procurement process for this has yet to begin. The TNIAL's Ahmad Yana class ships were formerly in service with the Royal Netherlands Navy RNLN as the Van Spike class. After being in service for about 20 years, the ships were transferred to Indonesia between 1986 and 1989. Want to read more for analysis on this article and access to all our insight content? Please inquire about our subscription options ihs.com contact.